welcome to Norfolk Fowler and uh, today I'm going to talk about the ammunition and the weapons I'm going to be using for the first day of 2016-2017 uh, wild fowling season. Uh, Merlin's getting quite excited about it, you can hear him tapping away in the background. I didn't want everything to be about us just going out shooting, pulling the trigger. Um, I wanted to have a mixture and I wanted this to be quite in I wanted there to be a, um, a lot of information for people to help people when they're going out and helping them with their choices. Uh, I'll, I want to provide information and our views on what I think is best and what I get on best with um, in relation to the way I wildfowl. And, it's, and if you go on the forums, you'll ask questions about the types of shot, the types of gun. Everyone's got their own opinion, and, and, and rightly so. Um, and what you're going to see is my opinions on the things that I get on be best with and the way that I uh, um, carry out my wildfowling. So um, it won't always be right for you. Um, there'll be tips. The biggest tip I can give you is if you find a cartridge you get on with, stick with it. Don't listen to anyone else. Don't listen to my views. There might be a cartridge that I don't get on well with, um, but you might find it absolutely fantastic. So if you're doing well, stick with it. Um, we all have the odd day where we don't shoot very well. So today is going to be more of an introduction on, on the weapon that I've chosen for the first tomorrow and uh, the cartridges and ammunition that I'm going to be taking. And don't get me wrong, this is not the type of ammunition I use all the time. I intend to use this more. Um, this was my father's shotgun, um, the Thomas Bland, and uh, he loved to use it for his wildfowling. And I will be using it a lot more now. But for my weapon of choice is my, my Beretta Extrema. Um, that's what I use most of the time with any VIP. Um, cartridges for duck and game ball mammoth three and a half inch for um, geese but each to his own I'm going to give you an idea of uh, what I like to do how I like to do wild fowling and um, you can take or leave from it what you like hopefully it will help people and um, hopefully get them under more birds and when they're under more birds hopefully it will allow you to um, bring a few of those down and, and, and pick them up to take home for tea Okay, I have decided that I am going to use my dad's old Thomas Bland and Son Brent Magnum uh, three inch chambered shotgun to, on the 1st of September this year. A little bit of a risk because I'm going to be on the coast um, and it does probably need a little bit of re bluing. Um, it's a lovely old gun. I've actually never shot anything with this before, so I'm hoping I can break my duck, so to speak and um, it's not proof of steel and in fact the 30 inch barrels are so so tight I think it's probably about three quarter and full or full and double full if there is such a thing it's a very tight gun dad always used to say to me <coughs> it's ideal for the longer birds um, it's proof for three inch loads and I've witnessed dad shooting the old Ely 50 gram three inch magnums through it <coughs> many many years ago Grey lags. I missed quite a few grey lags that day. Um, trying to get my first ever goose. Um, couldn't hit them with anything I was using that day. Just goose fever had got a hold of me when I was younger, and it's very, very difficult to um, find your first goose when, when you're gripped by the goose fever. Um, but we've spoken with one of the old gunsmiths that we used to get on really well with, sadly, Frank, who's, who's passed away now, and he sort of said to us, that really we shouldn't even be putting through um, three inch or, or any mini mags through it. Not really um, designed for, for that level of uh, firepower. So um, this is what I'm going to be using. Because I can't use steel, I'm going to have to use um, some Ely bismuth that I've got, which is 67.5 millimeter, the old two and a half inch um, chamber shells. Um, 32 gram and I've got threes and fours so hopefully I'll be putting a four in the, the right more open choke and a three in the, in the tighter choke for the longer birds. I've also just in case I'm struggling to hit for some reason and have confidence in the cartridge which I very much doubt because these are in excellent mode. Um, I've got some tungsten impacts and I've got tungsten impacts fives. They are um, a 36 gram load in a two and three quarter shell plastic wad. Um, again, an excellent cartridge. Um, quite expensive now, so hopefully I won't shoot too many of them. I'm not really intending to shoot too, too many birds on the first. 
so uh, but just really enjoy the gun and although I think I'm happy with the bismuth um, 32 34 grams sorry threes for geese up to probably 45 yards I've got some impacts ones um, again 36 round loads watched our time and time again kill uh, very long birds with ease so I've got every faith in them doing their job I'll just get you one of the maximums I can show you Red heads? Well, I mean, yeah, well, they are what you're looking at there, Alex, is a. No, not them. All right, well, they're canvas bags and we don't get them. Oh, I know. I know that. These. Pheasants. What, pheasants? No, we can't. I'm not going duck shooting to shoot pheasants. We're going, we go pheasant shooting to pheasant shoot pheasants. And uh, pheasant shooting doesn't start until the 1st of October. We've got another month before we start shooting them. Um, anyway, here's one of the Ely yeah. two and a half inch, or 67.5 millimeter, three shot Ely bismuth maximums. Uh, great cartridge. Um, had pink feet with these before. Uh, so I'm not shooting too far. Um, um, brilliant for ducks. Rate them very much, and I think through these tight chokes, they're going to pack extremely well. Never really been let down by any shells, to be honest. I always find them really, really, really consistent, no matter what I'm used, whether it's lead high flyers or whether it's the Ely VIP game. I don't um, steal. I don't really tend to use the. I don't really tend to use the. Alex, I'm trying to record this. So, yeah, never really been let down by any of the Ely lows, whether it's pigeon high flyers, um, Ely game impacts. Um, the VIP steels don't tend to use the um, more expensive um, high velocity Ely's um, don't really think there's any value in paying an extra one pound one pound fifty a box um, compared to the VIP it's always found them very very consistent as long as you don't shoot too far and I think the, the key point when you shoot the ducks with the VIPs they're only a 32 gram load is just to not push your luck um, try and keep your range down to 30 maybe 35 yards an absolute maximum. So this is the uh, weapon I will be using. It's a lovely old gun and hopefully it will do the job if I can mount it and point it in the right direction and if we can get actually over some birds. For the evening, um, if I go on an evening, I probably will take the Beretta. I've got a Beretta Extreme and um, okay. I'll probably take that out with, with the steel shot instead but I'll give this a go and give it a run and then hopefully later on in the season when the pinks arrive I'll get it down on the freshwater marshes and um, try and see if we can we can shoot a pink foot yeah. What would you like to know? How do you get that bit down to put the cartridges in? Okay so how do I get the cartridges in? You've got a lever at the top with these old cyber sides. You just push it to one side and the gun opens. And you can put the cartridges in there. Put the cartridges in, lift the stock up, always lift, lift the stock up to the gun, and you're loaded to go. But you don't, you don't, and it has two triggers like mine. It does have two triggers. The front trigger, as I've said to you always in a house, never touch the triggers when you're in a house. It's unloaded, the gun's unloaded, but still don't push your luck. Front trigger shoots the right barrel, back trigger shoots the left barrel. So you can select, so if the birds are a bit far away, um, say 35 yards and you don't want to use the more open show before shot, I've got the option of just using the back trigger and firing the, the more tighter barrel at them. Okay, Unlike the auto where we don't get a chance. I'll go and get my other one. I'll go and get mine. Right, you go and get yours then. The other thing with these is they're really, really easy to strip down. So if you do use them while fouling and um, you have any problems, fore end off, barrel off. So you can strip it down and clean it pretty quickly. Um, and it's quickly, quick and easy to put back together again. Ta-da.
Simple as that. So, side by side, old fashioned wild fountain gun. Won't let you down. Um, you can get it, get it out of the cupboard, shoot it, clean it, put it away, and use it the next season. Get it out, and it'll fire. Um, Ninety-nine point nine percent reliable, I'd say. Nothing worse. The hardware I'm going to use this year to record the footage will be my GoPro Hero. I've got the first version because I'm giving that a trial before I spend any proper money on it. Um, Lewis has got the uh, more expensive version and actually we haven't really seen too much of an improvement. The only thing with the more expensive one is he can see the footage back on his iPhone. And that's the other bit of equipment I'll be taking footage with this year is the, the iPhone. And then and maybe next year I'll look at getting a uh, another video camera to um, be able to pick up longer shots. So the one thing to bear in mind using a GoPro Hero is that it uses a very wide angle of vision so it literally um, makes everything look miles away. So when you're looking at the birds this year they'll look tiny specks, you probably need a big television to, uh, to watch any of the kill shots on or uh, the footage that we're um, um, or to watch the, the footage of any of the birds that we're following um, because it does make everything look so small and so far away. Um, the type of shooting I do, and I use a lot of Ely VIP steel, um, I tend to limit my shooting to 30 yards with that. So most of the birds we'll be shooting at will be under 30 yards. Um, maybe some of the pink foot, hopefully, if they're, if they're down again this year, will be a little bit further away. Um, and Probably with uh, the treble B game ball steel, maybe shooting up to 40 yards uh, with those. But most of the birds are going to be um, 30 yards or closer. So please bear that in mind. Um, it always makes it look like you're shooting a lot further than you are. You'll see countless bits of um, footage on YouTube um, of shooting people that have used heroes, and it's always the same case that everything looks a mile away. Birds that drop 10 yards away will look 30 yards away.